Ever thought about having a not-so-ordinary pet? Well, hold your horses! We are here to talk about 11 animals that, while fascinating, might not be the best fit for your home. From the unique to the downright peculiar, let's find out why these critters might not make great pets. Petopedia Sugar gliders may seem like adorable and cuddly pets, but they require specialized care that can be difficult to manage. Before considering getting a sugar glider, make sure to do your research. Sugar gliders need an enclosure that is at least 4 feet high and twice as wide. And of course, the bigger the better. If you have multiple gliders, the space requirements grow exponentially. On top of the space requirement, they need specialized food, drinks, water, protein, fruit, vegetables, vitamins, supplements, pollen, and many more. And that may not be available in your area and can be quite expensive. Additionally, sugar gliders must never be left alone for long periods and are expensive to purchase upfront. Taking all of this into consideration will help ensure that you are able to provide a safe and healthy home for your new pet. When you're buffle about whether get a sugar glider or not, the size of their habitat. Sugar gliders need more space than what is typically provided in a large rat or degu cage. Instead, they should be housed in an aviary-like environment with plenty of climbing apparatus, as this will help them get enough exercise and stay healthy. It's also important to remember that sugar gliders cannot be kept alone, so the space should be multiplied per glider. For most households, this can be quite challenging due to the vast amount of space required. The minimum cage size should be 24 inches deep by 24 inches wide by 36 inches tall. Ultimately, if you're willing to provide the necessary space for your new pet, then you are well on your way to a happy and healthy companion. Are you considering getting a sugar glider? If so, it is important to know that proper care and treatment of these unique animals should only be performed by a specially trained vet. Sugar gliders are classed as exotic animals because of their special metabolism and small size, making them particularly tricky to take care of. In fact, due to the difficulty of diagnosing and treating them, Regular vets who specialize in dogs, cats, or guinea pigs are often unable to provide adequate care. That is why it is important to find a vet who has experience handling sugar gliders. Not only do they need to be familiar with the animal's specific needs and behaviors, but they also need to know how to diagnose and treat any potential health problems that may arise. It can be hard for even experienced vets to diagnose and treat sugar gliders correctly without causing them distress or harm, so finding the right vet for your pet is essential. So, if you're thinking about getting a sugar glider as a pet, make sure you do your research first. Watch our video above for more information on what it takes to properly care for a sugar glider before making the commitment. These animals also cannot be left alone for long periods of time due to their highly social nature. As such, you will need to make sure they have plenty of companionship while you're away from home. They require a lot of attention and care, and it's best to have someone with experience look after them when you need to be away. Even if there are specialized professionals available, it is never recommended to leave your pet with someone who does not know them well enough. Health problems can be hard to spot for the untrained eye, making it all the more important that your sugar glider is watched by someone who has experience in caring for these unique creatures. Before deciding to bring a sugar glider into your home, make sure you have arrangements in place for their care while you're away. Last but not least, sugar gliders can be expensive to purchase initially due to the cost of their habitats and food. That's why it's important that owners do their research before deciding if this is the right pet for them. All in all, sugar gliders require more specialized care than some other popular pets, therefore dedicated owners should consider all of these factors before taking the plunge. Hedgehogs require a significant amount of time and attention. They are social animals and need to be handled and played with daily to prevent them from becoming lonely and stressed. 
They also need to be taken out of their cage for at least an hour every day for exercise and interaction. Additionally, their cages need to be cleaned regularly to maintain a healthy and safe environment for them. They also need to be fed a specific diet which includes a well-balanced diet of specially formulated hedgehog food, fruits and vegetables. Hedgehogs also require regular checkups with a veterinarian to ensure they are healthy and to address any potential health issues. It's important to remember that owning a hedgehog is a long-term commitment and requires a lot of time and dedication. Hedgehogs can be quite messy animals and they require a significant amount of maintenance to keep their living area clean. They have a tendency to spray urine and defecate when they are upset or scared, which can make their cages smell quite strong. Their bedding should be cleaned and replaced regularly and their food and water bowls should be washed frequently. Hedgehogs also have a tendency to scatter their food and bedding around their cage, which can make it difficult to keep their living area clean. It's important to be prepared for the messiness of hedgehogs and to have the time and patience to clean their cages regularly. They also require good ventilation in their cage to avoid bad smells and to prevent any respiratory problems. Hedgehogs are prone to a number of health issues, some of which can be serious and even life-threatening. Some common health problems hedgehogs may develop include obesity, diabetes, and dental issues. They may also suffer from respiratory infections, skin infections, and eye problems. Additionally, hedgehogs are at risk of developing cancer, particularly in the form of tumors. They are also prone to a variety of neurological disorders and genetic disorders. It's important to be aware of the warning signs of these conditions and to take them to a veterinarian for regular checkups. Regular veterinary checkups, proper diet and hygiene are essential to keep hedgehogs healthy and avoid these diseases. Hedgehogs are known to be skittish animals, which means they can be easily frightened or stressed. They have a natural instinct to protect themselves and if they feel threatened, they may become defensive and bite or run away. Even when handled regularly, hedgehogs may still be skittish and take some time to adjust to their new surroundings and handlers. They are also easily frightened by loud noises and sudden movements. This means that households with young children or other pets may not be suitable for hedgehogs. They are not recommended for first-time pet owners or for people who don't have the patience and understanding for skittish animals. It's important to handle them gently and calmly and give them time to adjust to new environments. Hedgehogs are not easy to train and they don't have the ability to learn tricks or behaviors like other pets. Due to their solitary nature, hedgehogs prefer to be left alone and do not enjoy being handled or played with for long periods of time. They are also nocturnal animals, which means they are most active at night making it difficult to train them during the day when most people are available. They can be quite skittish and may not be suitable for households with children or other pets. They may also be prone to biting if they feel threatened. Hedgehogs require a significant amount of patience and understanding as well as a consistent routine to train them and that's not an easy task. They are better suited for people who want a pet to observe and admire but not to interact with. Chinchillas need a lot of space to move around and exercise. Keeping them in a cramped space will make them unhappy and unhealthy. They are also very active creatures and need plenty of toys and stimulation to prevent boredom. If you cannot provide enough space for your chinchilla to live comfortably, you should not adopt one. Chinchillas have very sensitive hearing and can become stressed and anxious in a noisy environment. Loud noises can harm their delicate ears, leading to hearing problems or even deafness. If you live in a noisy environment or have a lot of people in your home, it may not be the best environment for a chinchilla. While chinchillas can make great pets, they are not always the best choice for families with young children. Chinchillas have delicate bones and can be easily injured if handled roughly. Children may also be tempted to poke or pull at the chinchilla's fur, which can cause pain and distress. If you have young children, it's important to supervise their interactions with the chinchilla closely. Chinchillas can live up to 15 years with proper care. 
If you're not prepared to commit to caring for your pet for that length of time, it's not a good idea to adopt a chinchula. While they're adorable and entertaining, they require a lot of attention and effort to keep healthy and happy. If you're not ready for that level of commitment, you may want to consider adopting a pet with a shorter lifespan. Chinchillas are native to the Andes Mountains where temperatures are cool and dry. They are not well suited to hot, humid environments and need a climate-controlled environment to thrive. If you cannot provide a working air conditioner or window unit to keep the temperature below 75 degrees Fahrenheit and humidity levels low, you should not adopt a chinchilla. Chinchillas are considered exotic pets and require specific care and attention to thrive. If you are not willing to learn about their needs, hygiene and body language, you should not adopt one. They have a specific dietary needs, require daily exercise, and need regular grooming to keep their fur healthy. Without proper care and attention, they can become sick and unhappy. Chinchillas are social creatures and need regular interaction with their owners to thrive. If you're not interested in playing with them, petting them, or getting them out of their cage for exercise, you should not adopt a chinchilla. They need social interaction to stay happy and healthy, and leaving them alone for long periods can lead to stress and anxiety. Chinchillas require daily attention and care, including a dust spot to keep their fur clean, a proper diet, and regular veterinary checkups. They also need a spacious cage and plenty of playtimes outside of the cage. Owning a ginger tabby cat can be a bit tricky because these beautiful felines have a tendency to overeat. It's almost like they're taking a page from Garfield's book. When you offer them food, they'll gobble it up and then follow you to the kitchen, hoping for more. If you happen to have some meat or any other edible stuff lying around in the fridge or on a countertop, your ginger tabby won't think twice about knocking it over and helping themselves. The problem is, if this behavior continues, your cat might end up getting overweight. If you're not a fan of noisy cats, you might want to think twice about getting a ginger tabby. While it's not true for all of them, some ginger tabbies tend to be quite loud. They can purr so loudly that even your neighbors might hear them. Keep in mind that a noisy ginger tabby's coat color and pattern are responsible for this, and it's not something they can control. If you end up with a noisy one, you can consider speaking with the trainer to help them be a bit quieter. In simple terms, orange cats are often seen as quite laid back. Many people who own orange cats describe them as being on the lazier side, which is good to know because they enjoy lounging around and eating quite a bit. While they can be excellent companions for cuddling due to their relaxed nature, their lack of activity can lead to some significant health problems. Every cat owner likes feeling important to their cat. It can be disappointing when your cat doesn't want to play, snuggle, or even walk around with you. But having a cat that's overly attached can also be a bit overwhelming. If your cat follows you everywhere and always wants to cuddle, it might not be your cup of tea. Unfortunately, ginger tabby cats tend to be quite clingy. It's because they crave attention and love being close to their humans. The good news is that with some training, you can usually address this issue and find a balance that works for both you and your ginger tabby. Even though a cat's fur gives them some protection from the sun, it's not enough especially for cats with lighter colored fur like orange cats. Sunburn can hurt cats a lot and even lead to serious skin cancer if not taken care of. So, it's important to be careful and protect your orange cat from the strong sun. You can do this by keeping your cat inside during the sun's strongest hours or making sure they have shady spots to rest in when they are outside. Using sunscreen made for cats can also help a lot. You can put it on areas that are more likely to get sunburned, like their ears and nose. But remember, only use sunscreen made for cats because human sunscreen can be harmful to them. Orange kitties tend to have bossy and sometimes aggressive personalities, which can lead many tabby cats to end up in rescue centers because of their behavior. This can be a problem if your cat isn't well-behaved, so it's important to start training your kitten as soon as possible to ensure they grow up with good manners. 
orange cats despite their quirks can be wonderful companions for the right owner. They may have a tendency to overeat, but this can be managed with proper feeding routines. Their noisiness varies and not all ginger tabbies are loud. If you appreciate a relaxed, low-energy pet, their laid-back nature can be a plus. While they may be clingy, this can also mean they're incredibly affectionate and loving. Just provide some training for a balanced relationship. Finally, their susceptibility to sunburn is manageable with proper precautions. If you enjoy a feisty, bossy feline personality, an orange cat might be your perfect match. Imagine having a red-eared slider turtle as a pet. These adorable creatures can be with you for many, many years. We're talking several decades. While that's amazing, it also means you're a lifelong commitment. Yep, you heard it right. Some people might not be ready for the responsibility of taking care of a pet that could potentially outlive them. So before you dive into getting a red-eared slider, it's essential to understand that this is a no short-term fling. It's a serious, long-term relationship with a tiny turtle buddy. They'll be there with you through thick and thin, and you will need to provide them with love and care throughout their entire lives. Everyone loves bringing home a cute little red-eared slider turtle as a pet. It's adorable and fits perfectly in a small tank, but hold on. As this little guy grows, it'll need a lot more room to stretch and swim freely. They can grow to be quite substantial, require a spacious home to thrive. It's like upgrading your pet's living quarters from a small studio apartment to a comfortable, roomy house. Providing your turtle with the right habitat can be a fun and exciting challenge, but it's important to consider your living situation. If you have limited space, it might not be the best fit for a happy and healthy turtle. Creating a cozy home for your red-eared slider might seem pricey, but it's worth it. You will need a spacious tank, a water filter to keep it clean, and special heating and lighting gear. Don't forget basking platforms for your turtle to relax. Their diet includes yummy commercial turtle food and fresh veggies. It's an investment, but seeing your little buddy thrive is priceless. Red-eared sliders have a diverse diet, like a healthy salad with pellets and a treat. They love commercial turtle pellets and yummy leafy greens. Sometimes, they get a fun surprise like live or frozen prey, but keeping them well-fed can be a bit of a puzzle for pet owners. Meeting their dietary needs consistently might be challenging. Remember, a balanced diet keeps them happy and healthy. Turtles are adorable but messy. Their tanks get dirty fast, so regular cleaning is a must. It keeps the water safe for both you and your pet. Clean tanks mean a healthier and happier turtle body. Just a little effort and you will enjoy a clean and vibrant home for your cute shelled friend. Red-eared sliders may look fine, but watch out! They can carry salmonella and other diseases that can spread to humans. If you mishandle them or forget to practice good hygiene, it's risky, especially for kids, the elderly, or those with weak immune systems. So, stay safe and be cautious when interacting with these adorable turtles. Wash your hands thoroughly after touching them to avoid any health hiccups. Unlike some other pets, red-eared sliders are not very interactive. They are not social animals and may not show the same level of affection or attachment as mammals like dogs or cats. Releasing pet red-eared sliders into the wild can be harmful to local ecosystems. If they are not native to the area, they may outcompete or spread diseases to native turtle species, disrupting the balance of the local environment. Before getting a red-eared slider as a pet, remember to check local laws. In some areas, they are restricted because they can affect the local environment. We want to protect the ecosystems, right? Make sure it's legal and be responsible to have one. Let's be caring pet owners and good stewards of our environment. Whether you're working from home, having a meeting over your phone, or enjoying a family dinner, your little chihuahuas are not going to consider any of these situations. Yes, they bark a lot when they don't get enough attention. Or even if they're not in the mood for your attention, you will still find them growling at you. They are the dogs who aren't afraid of their own voices and bark at everything from their owners to the mailman. No doubt the energy level of this little dog breed doesn't match its body. Yes, they are small in size but highly energetic. 
Also, they can be dangerous around your babies for being a little feisty. Whenever your baby can't be calm and gentle with a chihuahua, it will bark or even can bite your little one. Furthermore, they usually don't respond well to a child's rough play and may snap back. Hence, never leave babies alone with a chihuahua, especially when they don't have a good interaction. You may wonder how this little innocent-looking doggo can fight, right? Well, they are the little monster and loves to fight with other animals. Whether you have a cat or rabbit as another pet, your chihuahua will literally treat them as its enemy. Its aggressive nature will make you feel they're fighting dogs. When it comes to getting your attention, Chihuahua leaves no stone unturned to make it happen. From barking aloud to crawling on your lap, they will try every possible way to seek your attention. And once they get it, they will dance on air. But if you stay busy most of the time of the day, a Chihuahua may not be the right breed for you. Chihuahuas can get angry at any time and stop playing. Considering their adorable look, you may get surprised by how much anger they can generate on silly issues. And every time they get angry, they become an absolute ferocious beast. At that moment, the only thing they like to do is stop playing. In terms of healthy dog breeds, Chihuahuas are the healthiest and long-lived pups. But it only happens when they're well cared by you. Otherwise, due to their tiny body, their immunity system is a bit weaker. Hence, they are very prone to several health problems like dental diseases, obesity, or aggression. Moreover, compared to other dog breeds, they are extremely lightweight and weigh only between 2 to 6 pounds. As a result, they are weak and can easily be injured by other dogs or kids. No matter how much you cuddle your chi, the warmth of your lap isn't enough. Yep, they find it very hard to survive in cold weather, so you have to keep your chihuahua warm. As they originated in Mexico, they're used to living in a warm climate. Also, their little body can't retain heat as quickly as other dog breeds can. So, if you live in a cold region, chihuahua simply can't be your dog. Still, if you want to adopt one, it will require high maintenance. Chihuahuas are intelligent enough to be trained, but when it comes to potty training, you may find it a bit difficult. The only reason is that they have tiny bladders, and this is why they can't hold their poo for a long time. So, no matter where you are heading out with your chi, they won't understand your situation and can poop anywhere. This little tiny breed is very energetic and always ready to jump or pounce. Also, they can easily hide in any narrow nook of your apartment. As they frequently hide and pounce from one place to another, it may be risky for them. Besides, you always have to be alert whether they get injured or not. You might be wondering how much space a small lizard will need, right? But you're wrong, honey. When it comes to caring for a bearded dragon, the first thing is a spacious tank. Yes, you have to be able to afford a large tank with all the needed cage supplies. They usually grow between 12 to 24 inches long and love to roam around. So if there's not enough space, your dragon will grow up in a very congested space, which is unhealthy. Because the larger your tank is, the happier your bearded dragon will be. To make their habitat more suitable for them, you must pick a tank of around 55 to 70 gallons. And if your home is too small to make space for a large tank, it's better to drop the idea of having a bearded dragon. Bearded dragons will turn you into a dutiful parent. Yep, you heard that right. As they require frequent and daily feeding, you always have to be aware of their mealtime. So, no matter where you are, you need to make sure that your bearded dragon is receiving adequate nutrition. But maintaining the proper diet sometimes becomes too tiring, especially when you live a busy life. Apart from the timely food, you need to ensure a proper diet by purchasing food according to their dietary needs. Being an omnivorous species, bearded dragon requires 16% of plant foods and 40% of insects. And you have to ensure these two types of food daily. Quite fussy, right? Another fact is that the average lifespan for a bearded dragon is up to 10 years, so obviously, you must afford to feed for a longer period of time. Are you ready for this long commitment?
Not only bearded dragons, almost all reptiles are high maintenance. Before getting a reptile as your pet, you have to keep that in your mind. First off, its tank temperature should be within 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Otherwise, your bearded dragon may fall sick. Besides, they need a separate cage for basking and the temperature should be between 90 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Next comes its tank, and you should be aware of maintaining a safe and clean environment for it. You need to wash this feeding area and food bowls with soapy warm water. Plus, you have to make sure that there is no leftover food or any uneaten insects in its tank. It means you need to put time and effort into taking care of its habitat. And you have to be always mindful while holding them. Being small lizards, they're extremely fragile. So you just can't hold them like dogs or cats. So you really need to be careful while playing with them. And to protect them, make sure that they are getting enough vitamin D. So you need to take them outside or keep their terrarium beside your window to get enough sunlight. Bearded dragons are very docile creatures and socialize well with their owners. So they love to play on their hands and shoulders. But for handling, it's required to wash your hands before and after as a creature can spread bacteria like salmonella. Also, don't ever try to pick your lizard by its tail, as the tail will fall down and never regenerate. It means it's quite unhygienic to hold your bearded dragon. And also a pretty hassle to wash your hands frequently and the body parts that get touched with your dragon. No matter how much tired you're after a long working day, your retriever won't let you relax. Yes, they demand proper attention and must be near to their humans to be happy. If you're thinking of getting a retriever, be prepared to do a lot of patting, snuggling and cuddling with your golden. Because they love it and are downright needing their desire for attention from their human moms. Being an active dog breed, they need plenty of opportunities to play, exercise and do movements. To get rid of excess energy, they tend to exercise at least two hours every day. You will hardly find them sitting idly, except when they're actually tired or feeling sleepy. So if you're living in small apartments and don't have enough room, it's better to drop the idea of adopting a golden. It may take you by surprise, but retrievers are prone to different health diseases. Yes, that's true, even though they're extremely energetic. Like other large and medium breeds, they may get affected by some common health problems like infections, heart disease, dysplasia, and so on. Apart from these, they are prone to cancer and skin allergies. In case you don't like to visit your vet at least once a month, having a golden retriever isn't a good decision. Golden retrievers don't live long enough. What? Really? Yep, the number one reason is that they suffer from several health issues. Back in the past years, golden retrievers commonly lived up to 17 years old, but unfortunately, golden retrievers' lifespans have been decreasing over the years and it has become 10 to 12 years. Quite depressing, right? A golden retriever may cost you an arm and a leg. Yeah, compared to other large dog breeds, they're quite expensive and high maintenance too. Golden retrievers can cost anywhere from 500 to 3,000 US dollars. Oops, don't run away hearing this. Depending on several factors like color, hybrid and breed reputation, their cost may differ. Besides, many dog lovers consider them to be high maintenance because of their exercise, social, grooming and health needs. There's a dog that doesn't shed at all is a myth. And in terms of shedding, golden retrievers are top of the list. They shed throughout the year but especially during spring and fall when they blow their coats. In fact, you should brush your doggos ear regularly to keep your house fur free. However, brushing is not enough to stop shedding. So if you're allergic to dog hair, it's better to go for a less shedding dog breed. Whether it's a river, swimming pool or plastic pool, golden retrievers have a natural love for the water. When the temperature gets high, they enjoy water splashes. That's why you should have a swimming pool for your golden, especially during summer. Otherwise, your canine may get heat stroke in the scorching heat. But in case you don't have enough space to set up a water pool for your retriever, our recommendation is not to have any. Ferrets are active, curious animals that require a lot of attention and care. They need daily playtime outside of their cage and at least two hours of exercise time every day. They also require regular cleaning of their litter box and bedding, as well as grooming to prevent the matting of their fur. 
ferrets require a specific diet that is high in protein and fat, and they can be prone to digestive issues if they are not fed properly. Overall, ferrets are high-maintenance pets that require a lot of time, attention and effort to care for properly. Ferrets have a distinct musky odor that can be unpleasant for some people. This odor is caused by their skin glands, which produce an oil that helps them mark their territory. While this odor can be managed with regular cleaning and grooming, it may still be a concern for some people. Ferrets are natural diggers and chewers, which means they may cause damage to furniture, carpets, and other household items. They also tend to steal and hide small objects, such as socks or keys. Ferrets require a lot of supervision to prevent them from causing damage to the home. Ferrets may not be the best choice for households with small children or other pets. Ferrets have a high prey drive and may view smaller animals or children as prey. They may also play too roughly with children or other pets, causing harm. Additionally, ferrets require a lot of space and exercise, which may be difficult to provide in a small apartment or house. Ferrets are susceptible to certain health issues such as adrenal disease and insulinoma. Adrenal disease is caused by an overproduction of hormones and can cause hair loss, itching, and weight loss. Insulinoma is a tumor of the pancreas that causes low blood sugar and can be life-threatening. These health issues can be expensive to treat and may require frequent visits to the vet. In some areas, ferrets are illegal to own as pets. This may be due to concerns about their potential to become invasive species if they escape into the wild. It is important to check local laws and regulations before getting a ferret as a pet. Ferrets are highly active animals that require a lot of physical activity and playtime. They need at least two hours of exercise outside of their cage each day and they're always looking for something to play with or explore. If you're not prepared to keep up with their high energy levels, a ferret might not be the best pet for you. Ferrets are experts at finding their way out of cages and other enclosures. They're incredibly curious creatures and will do whatever it takes to explore their surroundings. If you're not prepared to spend a lot of time securing your living space, you might find your ferret on the loose more often than not. Ferrets have a reputation for being mischievous and playful. They love to steal things, hide in small spaces, and generally make a mess of things. If you're not prepared to deal with the occasional chaos that comes with having a ferret as a pet, you might want to consider a different animal. Ferrets are independent animals that can be difficult to train. They have a mind of their own and can be stubborn when it comes to following commands. If you're looking for a pet that will obey your every command, a ferret might not be the best choice. However, with patience and persistence, it is possible to train a ferret to some extent. Overall, ferrets are unique pets that require a lot of time, attention and effort to care for properly. While they can be loving and entertaining companions, they're not the best choice for everyone. It's important to consider your lifestyle, living situation and level of commitment before deciding to bring a ferret into your home. To see viral memes on the internet, you might think Shiba Inus are the most docile dog breed. But actually, they're not. Yes, they're bullheaded and stubborn. At every turn, they love to challenge their owner, and most importantly, you can say they're intelligent enough to do so. To some extent, they ignore their owner and misbehave. Quite disappointing, right? At that moment, only a good treat and distraction-free space can calm their anger. Ah, such a moody dog it can be. Sometimes it's pretty annoying when your pet sheds a lot, especially when you're allergic to hair. And in this term, Shiba Inu will disappoint you. They shed heavily twice a year, and the major time of their shedding is the first three weeks of March and September. And at this time, they require brushing daily, but it's not like they only shed at this time of the year. Instead, they steadily shed throughout the year and you need to brush them at least once a week. On the plus side, you can't even shave this breed to avoid shedding. Wondering why? Well, since they have a double coat, shaving can permanently ruin their furry coating and they won't grow back like before. Still thinking of having one? Shiba Inus are one of the most difficult and frustrating breeds to train. Yep, you heard that right. 
As we have already mentioned, they are the most stubborn breed in nature and come with a self-centered nature, so you can't easily train them for anything whether it's potty, behavior, or feeding training. Also, they are not ready to learn any new thing and just love to be themselves. In case you want to train them, you need to act calm, stick to their schedule, and be determined enough to keep teaching them. In terms of behavior training, you definitely should go for rewards like food or toys. Aren't they pretty high maintenance? What if your dog gets bored too fast even though you're spending time with it? Sounds frustrating. Yes, it is. And if you get Shiba Inus as your pet, it will be quite normal. They are smart, energetic, and get bored easily. They love to be active, roam around, and curious enough to explore. So it's natural for them to get annoyed with anything after a while. And to keep them busy and engaged, they need at least one hour of physical exercise per day and steady mental stimulation. So if you're a busy pet parent, you will find it too difficult to do. When it comes to having a family pet, Shiba Inu will not be the right one to meet your expectation. Thinking why? Since Shiba Inus are loyal and friendly, they are stubborn and short-tempered. So it's not an easy task to interact with them. Sometimes too much interaction may provoke them and you will simply find them aggressive pets to keep around. This is why these dogs aren't the best choice for a family pet compared to other breeds. On top of that, they need to be trained regularly and socialized with other dog breeds. It means you really have to struggle a lot to minimize their aggressive behavior. Chameleons need a large space to maintain their physical and mental health. They are arboreal creatures and require plenty of room to climb and explore their surroundings, which helps to keep them active and stimulated. A large space also allows for proper temperature and humidity regulation, which are crucial for a chameleon's well-being. Additionally, having a large space reduces the stress levels of chameleons as they have more room to retreat and hide when they feel threatened. To provide a comfortable and healthy environment for a chameleon, it is important to have a spacious and well-equipped terrarium. Chameleons are unique and fascinating creatures that require a special diet to maintain their health and well-being. Unlike other reptiles, they are known for their ability to change color and they have specially adapted tongues and eyes to help them hunt and capture prey. However, they have specific dietary needs that must be met to keep them healthy. Chameleons require a diet that is rich in live insects, such as crickets, roaches, and mealworms. These insects should be dusted with a calcium supplement to ensure that they receive the necessary vitamins and minerals. Additionally, they should have access to fresh fruits and vegetables such as sweet potatoes, apples, and leafy greens to provide them with additional vitamins and fiber. By providing a balanced and varied diet, you can help ensure that your chameleon thrives and stays healthy. Chameleons are prone to health problems due to their unique physiological and behavioral characteristics. These reptiles are highly susceptible to stress which can weaken their immune system and increase your risk of developing health issues. Additionally, they are known to be carriers of certain parasites such as mites and ticks, which can cause skin irritations, anemia and other infections. Chameleons are also vulnerable to respiratory problems which can be caused by factors such as poor air quality and environmental stress. In addition, their complex digestive system and dietary requirements can lead to digestive issues if not managed properly. Lastly, chameleons can also experience eye problems, such as eye infections and eye injuries due to their large, protruding eyes that are easily damaged. Overall, chameleons require proper care and attention to prevent and manage health problems. Chameleons are a unique species of reptiles that require specific care to maintain their health and well-being. These exotic creatures have specific environmental and dietary needs that must be met to ensure they thrive in captivity. Chameleons are native to tropical climates and require a warm and humid environment to mimic their natural habitat. They also need a basking light to provide them with heat and UVB radiation to produce vitamin D3. 
Chameleons are insectivores and require a varied diet of live insects, such as crickets, mealworms, and fruit flies. Proper hydration is crucial for chameleons, so a constant supply of fresh drinking water should be available. Chameleons also need a spacious cage to climb and perch on, which should be kept clean and free of parasites. Chameleons are delicate creatures and require a specific level of care to ensure they lead healthy and happy lives. Chameleons are reptiles that are well adapted to their environment and have a variety of unique features that help them survive. One of these features is their ability to regulate their body temperature, which is critical for their survival. Chameleons are ectothermic, meaning their body temperature is regulated by the environment around them. Without proper temperature regulation, a chameleon's metabolic and physiological processes can become disrupted, leading to a range of health problems, including stress, disease, and even death. Therefore, it is essential that they have the ability to regulate their body temperature within a specific range. This range is typically between 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit and it allows them to maintain a comfortable body temperature, which is essential for their digestion, movement, and overall health. Therefore, if you own a pet chameleon, it is important to provide them with a proper environment that includes temperature regulation as it is a critical factor in their survival and overall well-being. So, these are the 11 animals that you shouldn't keep as pets. If you have more to add, please let us know in the comment section.